hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i recreated the picture on my thumbnail the dress on my thumbnail all right so let's get into the video so now um you know this, this is what i'll be using for the down part of the dress you know it's like a basic shift dress all right it has two parts the top and cara part and then this one that i'll be using for the frills is gathered on the down part of the Ankara. So we'll be cutting the Ankara first, the front first. So I folded my fabric into two to cut the front. Alright, so we'll be using the front to cut the back. Now I'm going to take uh, my measurements. First, I'm going to get my starting point. You know, it's a normal shift dress. The upper part is just a basic shift dress, all right? It has a belt, okay? So now I'll take my chest line from my shoulder line there. As the starting point is my shoulder line. From there, I'll also take my waistline. And then your hip line. From my waist to my hip is 9 inches. I'll mark that. Then the length of the Ankara part of the dress, right? So I want the frills to start from my knee. So you're going to take your measurement. Take the measurement from your shoulder to your knee, all right? Okay. Then you're going to mark it there. Now I'm going to connect the lines. This is my chest line, my waist line, and then my hip line. Then this is the hem of the anchor. This is the way I'll be joining the stripe fabric. I'll be gathering it. All right. So now I'm going to take my shoulder. So the my shoulder divided by two. Then I added half inch allowance. I'll do I'll bring down my shoulder or my chest line and then I'll connect it with a straight line. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to take my circumference, alright? So I'm going to divide my bust by four. So on my chest line, I'm going to impute my bust circumference. So my bust divided by four, I'm going to mark it, and I'm going to add 1.5 inch ease allowance. You know it's a shield dress, it's supposed to be a little bit free. So the 1.5 inch is the seam allowance. Then I'll add another 1.5 inch for um sorry the 1.5 inch is ease then another 1.5 inch is seam allowance therefore i have a total of three inches allowance all right i'm going to do the same thing for my waist my waist circumference divided by four plus three inches 1.5 ease allowance and 1.5 seam allowance then the same thing on my hip all right My heel divided by 4 plus 3 inches allowance. Then on my hemline like this, I'm just going to bring whatever I have on my knee, my hip rather, whatever I have on my hip, I'm going to bring it down to my hem because it's going to be straight, alright? Remember we are attaching um the frills or the gathered on that area. So you just bring it down and connect it with a straight line. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect my lines. All right. Just go over your measurements just to be sure. Then I'll now make my armhole curve on that area. Then I'll connect my post to my waist to my hip and down to my hem so i'm going to cut this out now but first let's take our width depth and our weak you know neck width and our, our neck depth and width so i'm just going to be doing a neck width of 3.5 inches you know the neck width for the front and the back should be the same so 3.5 inches for the neck width then from for the neck um depth you know this is the front i'm going to be doing a neck depth of um 
three inches this is depending on what you want this is just going to be um it's based on preference i'll be attaching a slit on this side that is why i made the neck um depth three inches so the neck however shape you want the neck to be depends on your choice so on this shoulder area i'm going to come down by one inch to create my zipper so my shoulder slope okay and then i'm going to connect it to the neck width i'm also going to add half inch allowance on that area for joining I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to use it to cut the back. As you can see, I made an alteration here. I had to go for my measurement and I realized that I made the mistake on the waist and I corrected it as you can see. So just go over your measurement again just to be sure. So I'm going to cut this out now and I'll use this to cut the back. So I've placed this on another folded fabric, alright, and on the folded area, I left about 1.5 inches allowance for my zip, as you can see, and I'm just going to use the front as a guide to cut the back. So for the um, neck depth of the back, I want the neck depth to be about 1.5 inches so I'll connect it like this now cut it off Just follow your lines, use your front as a guide to cut the back. The only difference is the zipper allowance and the neck depth, alright? Just make sure you add 1.5 inch um, allowance on the folded area. That is the center back. I'm done cutting it so I have the front and the back piece here now I'm going to cut open the center of the back okay slash the folded area the center back open so we have two pieces for the back this is where we'll be attaching our zip Now the next I'm going to do is what I we call contouring, all right, for the back. You know the back, our back is not usually straight because of the spine. We have it's kind of deep or curved, so I'm just going to contour the back. So I'll extend my lines, my waistline to the back, to the zipper area of the back like this. I will also extend the chest line and the hip line. Then on the waistline, I'm going to take half inch inside, like this. Okay, I'm just I just want to create a curve at the back so that it takes the shape of the back and avoids zipper bulging. Even though it's not a fitted dress, but you have to do this, all right, so that it just takes the shape of your back. So I'm going to connect this half inch that I marked on my waist. To my chest line. And then also down to my hip line like this. So you're just going to blend it up, just blend it up on the waist to remove any pointiness. Then you cut this off, all right? So it's going to take the shape of your back a little bit curved and not straight and give you a nice fit at the back. Remember when you when you're fixing your zipper you take the exact 1.5 inch all the way down all right regardless of this half inch that we removed you're going to take 1.5 inch for your zipper 
so I'm done for the front and the back piece and now the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, measure the crepe this is a crepe fabric I'm going to be attaching it or gather it on the hem of the Ankara of the cow all right so I'm going to fold it and then cut it cut out the length that I want for it but first I'm going to measure my hem in order to get how much you're supposed to need or you'll be needing you measure the hem that is for the front piece alone so my hem i have 14 inches okay because it's on full you're going to multiply 14 inches by four and the value you get you times it by either two or three depending on how full you want the gather to be and depending on the um how much um fabric you have all right so mine, I'm timesing the circumference of my hem by three. Okay. So times, multiply the circumference of your hem by three. All right. Then you cut out, cut it out. So I'm going to fold it, fold this into four so that it will be easy for me to cut. So I folded it into four already and then I'm going to measure the length. Remember you've already removed, measured for the dress, that's the entire part of the dress. So um, whatever you have left is what you, you use for the length of the frills. So I have 24 inches and I added one inch seam allowance to it to make it 25. I'm going to cut this out, all right. Just know that the full length of this gown is for 64 inches, all right? So I removed 40 inches for the top part, and what will be left is 24, right? So I added just one inch to it to make it 25, and then I'll cut it out. Now I'll just place this one I already cut on top of the other one and then cut another piece so you cut as much as you can and then you'll be joining it together okay so I'll join this together and I'll attach it on the hem then for the sleeve the sleeve is a half circle flay alright so I'm going to be cutting a half circle flay for the sleeve I folded my fabric into two like this alright it's folded into two then I'm going to get the circumference of my armhole so the circumference of your armhole you're going to divide it by 3.14 that is how to get the radius for a half circle flare so the circumference of your armhole divided by 3.14 whatever you get you're going to mark it from their apex all the way around like this okay So you connect the lines that you already marked round and then you're going to take the length of your sleeve okay now i want my sleeve to be 10 inches length it will be a uh, very little above my elbow so 10 inches and i'll add one inch to it to make it 11 inches so from that radius that i already marked you're going to place your tape there and mark the length of your sleeve Remember to add one inch allowance so you mark it all the way around like you did the radius let's connect the lines like this So you're going to cut this off you follow your chalked line and cut it out so this is for one sleeve so i'll use this one that i already have and cut for the other sleeve because we'll be needing two sleeves so now i'll place it on top of this one like this and i'll cut another one exactly 
So I have two sleeves, right? So this will be fixed on the arm hook, right? So guys, this is the end of the tutorial. This is what the dress looks like after I was done joining everything. It's really a simple or basic and very beautiful dress, all right? So guys, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.